you're going to die prospecting. You're going to, you're going to prospect till the day you die. And what I want to see is, is you're running towards, let me talk to as many people as possible as quick as I can to build that database up to the point where in three to five years of that really face down grinding, you can get to a place where your database is so large. You've talked to so many people, you've connected with so many people and you're sending out so much content that deals just fall in your lap now and you don't have to prospect anymore. Not another day in your life. 2017, I made a million dollars for the first time in a year as a single agent. I never prospected a day after that ever. And I still continue to make a meal every single year. Um, so that's the dream. And if you guys will just get your head, <laughs> it's like, if you just wake up and realize this is the game, go out there and play the game as hard as you can for a good three to five, then you're good. If you just trickle the game and just try to avoid the real game, um, you're, you're just prolonging and it literally, I've seen agents literally die where they make, they called expires and for sell by owners till three days before they died on their deathbed, knowing they were dying, still making calls because they want to leave their wife as much as they can. I've seen it happen. And, um, what are you doing other than happen anymore? What are you doing other than the calls, Ricky? Um, obviously the calls is a great way, obviously, but is there any other way you're prospecting or, or getting these property owners or any other form of any other listen to me any other form goes right back to calling them if i get them on zillow i gotta call them if i get them on facebook i gotta call them instagram call them youtube call them sphere of influence call them right yeah. open house i get a list of people that came in the next day i call them it's all comes back to calling them so i'm i'm bypassing all the stuff that leads right to calling anyway yeah. by just calling them. I just pick out the exact property owners I want to do business with, and I just call them. I, you, I could even use the same script Yo, oh, as a Zillow lead, let's just say, as any of these, as a Zillow lead, okay? Hey, Mr. Homeowner, Ricky Crew at the XP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How are you doing? Me too. I'm enjoying the days and the gorgeous. Listen, I want to take it too much of your time. I saw you were looking at properties online here recently. Just calling to follow up with that and see if there's something I could do to help you. What's the chances he was looking online at something in the past six to eight months? Probably a hundred percent. Um, like they, you could literally take any script and call any property owner, you know, Hey, were you trying to sell your house? You know, like you could pretend like everybody's unexpired. Were you trying to sell your house at some point? <laughs> I mean, but that, that's not what I do. I don't just, you know, use different scripts for different leads, you know, but you could. Right. Um, if you need to trick yourself into thinking these are Zillow leads or these are warm leads or whatever the case may be, hell, they're selling you the same people that I'm talking about. <laughs> they're selling you their contact information. It's nuts. Yeah. yeah. And guys, everybody that's on this call. So we, you know, we do these zooms every week and we always talk about how to prospect, how to do this. But the key thing that Ricky's saying right here is, is that ultimately all of that stuff leads up. We, what are we all striving for? We want a call. We want to speak to somebody. Yeah. So really what Ricky's saying is a hundred percent. Right. I mean, just call them. Like people just it, need to break down the mental barrier of like just an, in, it, an yeah. incoming call is the same as your outgoing call. Same thing. Those, those are the same, same people. As Ricky just said, those are the same people. Like what are the chances that they were on the internet at some point looking at houses over the last six to eight months? Everybody looks at real estate, right? So if their information was captured and got cycled to, let's say, Zillow, then that's the lead that you're buying from Zillow for like two or $300 for that yeah. lead. But why not just generate the lead on your own for free by picking up the call, use a dialer, use a, a service, whatever, get their information for pennies on the dollar based on what you pay Zillow for the same information and just call these people. Because how many times do you call a Zillow lead? And they're like, I never filled out a form on Zillow. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not in the business. So and you're calling, more, you're getting more than $300 too. And, uh, you know, in 2021, realtors bought 200 million leads. There were 6 million transactions. You guys are just buying leads. Like this is the thing when <laughs> it's not really. You and make, um, there's no such thing as bad leads, honestly, um, too, you know, like. You know, you, you get these online leads and stuff. It's not that you're mad that they're bad. I mean, heck, when I when I call like a list of property owners, I'm going to get a 10% pickup rate. So I'm going to do 100 dials. I'm going to talk to 10 people. I'm going to have five great conversations. That's my goal for every 100 dials. And um, I can blow through those numbers with a dialer or whatever. 
But like, if you had a hundred internet leads, you're going to have about the same thing, probably 10% pick, you know, like, it's not that they're bad leads they are just, I'm getting them for a penny over here for the targeted exact people I want to talk to versus other, you know, with Zillow and other things, even like realty.com and Opsity. I mean, you're paying 35% on a deal. Um, it, it, they're giving you random people versus over here, I'm targeted for a penny over here. We're random and we're paying 35% or we're paying $1,000 for one lead. Um, even if I'm doing open houses, I'm not going to go spend all that time and energy setting up that house, advertising that house, doing all that stuff. When I can just call a bunch of people. I'm the biggest, like social media got me out of sales guys. Um, I literally am like one little pinky toe in production still. Um, and the whole reason is or how is because I started doing social media and building other businesses. Once I got to the mill and I didn't have to prospect anymore, I spent the time I was prospecting building other businesses on social media, building my brand, building other businesses. And thank God for that. Like social media changed my life. Like I'm living the life of my dreams now. I'm traveling three times a month speaking. I'm on national television. Um, I'm getting huge interviews and bigger and everything's just getting bigger and bigger. It's all because of social media. I'm the biggest believer in social media. Okay. But when it comes to real estate, I don't need social media because I'm just using social media to try to get to the conversation when I could just have the conversation. So I'm not saying this from a biased standpoint of, you know, you guys should just make calls. No, uh, social media is my thing. <laughs> that is my thing. What I'm saying is, is I don't use it in real estate because I can just call the people I want to do business with and see what I can do to help them, see if they have an agent, see when they want to do stuff. Like I can, I can bypass the entire system and, and go back door on the whole market and hack the entire system uh, doing it this way. Right. So, you know, it's just um, perspective and um, philosophy and um, kind of just uh, my mentality. I'm a, I'm a, I want to succeed right now kind of guy. I don't want to prolong this. I don't want to make this a long drawn out process and a really long journey. I want to do it now. I want to, I want to succeed right now. The quick, the quickest, most efficient manner possible. So that's why I do it the way that I do it. Everybody wanna be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't like me. Drop a couple bands on the crib.